In this video, we will look at a possible Bay Area housing meltdown that could be happening right before our eyes. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mac Rogers. I'm a local real estate broker here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you follow the channel, you know that I am or have been bullish about the state of the housing market here in the Bay Area. I primarily talked about how our market has so much demand from well-qualified buyers and we have very little new construction going on. I've also talked in the past that the primary driver or at least one of the primary driver of this wild real estate market we have is the tech industry. I've also said that in order for this real estate market to take a big hit, it would take some outside or unknown force. One example that I gave was a major catastrophe like an earthquake. This is something that is unseen or cannot be forecasted. So if something like this were to happen, it would be a huge blow. And here's another one that is happening right now that could completely derail the real estate market here in the Bay Area. The very strength that we have, the tech industry, is going through turmoil right now. Facebook just announced massive layoffs. Twitter is also cutting back on its workforce. Salesforce is also doing the same. These are just three marquee names that are cutting back on its workforce. There are other companies that are also cutting back. Take a look at the following table and list of companies that have announced layoffs. I'll also put a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. The speed at which these well-established tech companies and other startups are laying off employees could have a profound effect here in the Bay Area. Some are saying this could be like the dot-com bubble all over again. If you're not familiar with the dot-com bubble, here's what our trusty Google has to say about it. The dot-com bubble, also referred to as the internet bubble, refers to the period between 1995 and 2000 when investors pumped money into the internet-based startups in the hopes that these fledging companies would soon turn a profit. The bubble ultimately burst, leaving many investors facing steep losses and several internet companies going bust. Companies that famously survived the bubble include Amazon, eBay, and Priceline. The dot-com bubble is but one of several asset bubbles that have appeared over the past centuries. And guess what we have right now? When the pandemic hit, the housing and equity markets went through the roof in terms of pricing or valuation. Some have been calling this a bubble from the beginning, while others think the valuations, whether it was housing or stocks, were justified. I'm actually in the latter category when it comes to housing. I still believe the home price increases in housing were justified. Fast forward to today, the feds have been aggressively fighting inflation and this is one of the reasons for all the pain that we are seeing. They are slowing down the economy and a slowing economy leads to recession and recession leads to cost cutting and eventually, like now, layoffs. Now, when we look at housing, it's hard to say that this is your normal housing bubble. What do I mean by this? Well, for starters, even though home prices have skyrocketed all over the country, the reason behind it is a solid foundation. Demand is through the roof while we have a short supply. Some argue that this is inflated demand. There were lots of demand because of the low interest rate environment that we had. There's a little bit of truth to that, but you also have to remember that banks after we had the mortgage meltdown have a more strict lending standards than before. Very little credit risk is out there, which meant that even if a buyer was only enticed to buy a house because of low mortgage rates, that buyer we can say is deemed very credit worthy. Which brings me back to what is going on right now. All these layoffs kind of has the same feel to the dot-com bubble. There are several similarities. One of which is valuation. As we can see what is happening in the stock market, tech stocks are getting severely hit. Investors are basically saying that these lofty valuation, the profits are not justified and also the prospect for future profits looks dim. I think right now a majority of these tech companies are probably not overvalued anymore. They are probably more in line with current profit projections. But still, these profit expectations are much lower than before. And when you factor in the fact that you can get risk-free returns on treasuries at around 4%, you can see why these tech stocks are getting pummeled. This is why there's still a lot of uncertainty in the market. And our region, the Bay Area, being a tech-heavy region, the question then turns to 
Will this affect the housing market? As bad as things are right now, we probably won't see the full effect of these until Q1 of 2023 and quite possibly more layoffs coming from other industries as well. Some experts are saying we should be fine because after all, there is a worker or labor shortage that we are experiencing. In other words, companies can't fill out position that they need workers for. However, I see a couple of problems with this. It's not like a one for one or like for like, if you will. And what I mean to say is that if a bunch of engineers lose their jobs at Facebook, it's not like all the job openings out there would be the same job description as what they had before. If at all, it's at the same field. The other thing is that everyone is cutting back. Guess what happens to these companies that are hiring? Chances are they will start cutting back or freeze their hiring until we see changes in the economy. So I don't think it's so cut and dry that most of the workers that get laid off could easily find a job elsewhere. And guess who is at most in danger of losing their jobs first? This one, I have said it so many times, the pitfalls of working from home. If you can work from home, your job can easily be replaced by anyone from anywhere in the world. It's just a logical thing. If you are not there every day in the office, it's easier to justify replacing you or giving your role or your job to someone else in the office. These round of layoffs will further weaken an already rapidly cooling Bay Area real estate market that began towards the end of the first quarter this year. The Bay Area housing market actually is cooling much faster than anywhere else in the nation. San Jose, Oakland, San Francisco are in the top 10 fastest cooling or slowing down real estate markets. And when we look at all these cities, pretty much every city attached or close to it are also affected. In the beginning, the cool down was primarily because of mortgage rates climbing. Add to that equity markets taking a major hit and most tech workers buying power was severely curtailed. This job loss that is happening and will continue to happen is very different from when we had the 16% unemployment when the pandemic started. For starters, most of those jobs were in the service and hospitality industry. This time around, these are high paying jobs that we are losing. And I would guess a lot of these people that are getting laid off are homeowners. As we continue on down this path of recession, more layoffs, there will be an influx of more inventory that may start to flood the market. And unlike during the pandemic, there is no safety net this time. No foreclosure moratorium, no eviction moratorium. So you can see what I mean by a meltdown is on the horizon. Job loss leading to people selling and possibly selling in distress, causing prices to come down. Also, continued increase of mortgage rates still making it expensive to buy for those who still can do so. Here's a silver lining. All these things that are happening could be short-lived. The most recent inflation numbers just came out and it's starting to go down, which means that the feds would probably start to taper their rate increases. However, the looming recession is still on the horizon. Take a look at this most recent survey from the Wall Street Journal. It shows 63% of economists sees a recession coming in the next 12 months. I'd say that these layoffs that are happening right now is a prelude to this. Companies are forecasting a slowdown, thereby cutting back on workforce already. Now, for those of you who follow the channel, you've seen me share this before. Recession doesn't always mean home prices are falling. In fact, quite the opposite. Out of the last six recession, there's only been two instances where home prices declined. One we can say was negligible, less than 2%. The other was the mortgage meltdown. It was actually the housing market that caused the recession. We don't have a mortgage meltdown situation here. Supply and demand is very different. Credit standards are also very different, but it doesn't mean we won't see falling prices. I know it's kind of confusing because I said there may be a housing meltdown on the horizon, and now I'm saying, look, a recession doesn't mean falling prices. And this is because when there is a recession, what do the feds do? They jumpstart the economy back by lowering rates, which in turn, lowers mortgage rates. So recession doesn't automatically translate to house prices crashing. In fact, if we look at some of the forecasts out there for 2023, when you average it out, it's basically flat. Some are forecasting modest appreciation and others a slight depreciation. However, what most are saying is that by 2024, we should start to see a more normal market. We won't see anything like this. Five years of straight home prices going down. At least 
not from what we are seeing right now. Now back to our layoff scenario. It may be that if we do get a number of people needing to sell their houses, it could be at a point wherein the economy and the mortgage rate environment is more favorable. And you have to remember, we still have a shortage of inventory, not just here in the Bay Area, but as a nation. So that could act as a support because we still have demand out there. Bottom line is this, I'm not making light of the people that are going through the layoffs. No one wants that. But with layoffs, recession, inflation, political turmoil, war, you name it, there are a lot of negative psychology going on right now. And this could easily become more of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Diane Swank, the chief economist at KPMG says this, once you start the process of prices falling nationally, there is a self-fulfilling momentum to it because no one wants to catch a falling knife. We're easily going to see large double digit declines. I think 15% next year is very conservative. It's already turning. This quote is talking about the broader US market. For the Bay Area, this may happen in the more outlying areas. Think of places in the Central Valley like Stockton or Vallejo or down south in Salinas, primarily places that are over an hour away from major metro areas. While places uh, more in the center like San Mateo County, Santa Clara or Alameda, there may be some weakness, but it won't be as bad. What do you guys think? Will this be a full-blown bubble bursting or a soft landing for the Bay Area housing market? Comment below. Thanks for watching.